Hi there, I'm Josh Burdick with Veritas Media, and today on The Creative Brief, we'll discuss creating episodic content for your brand, why it's valuable, and what you should consider when planning your project. Today, we have Emily Butts Osterberry here in studio with us. Emily, welcome. Hey, Josh. Hey, Emily. Thank you for joining us. Thanks you for are up me. here from New Mexico, where you I normally am. live. I am here. So in great person. to have you in person and not in a Google Hangouts window. It's amazing. <laughs> so great. So, episodic content. This is something that we've worked a lot with some of our clients you know, in the past couple of years, and we've created some really cool projects. And I'm hoping that we can just take this opportunity to have a conversation about what is episodic content, why is it important, and how can you prepare to start creating some for your own business? Absolutely. So let's start at the top. What is episodic content? Yeah, episodic content I feel is pretty self-explanatory. It's a story that you're telling across a couple different pieces of content, a couple different videos, your episodes. Um, so it's really just having episodes in an ongoing series. It can be something similar to what we did for the Lighthouse Mission, their Hope for Bellingham series. It was a limited series that had a very clear beginning, middle, and end to it. Uh, or it can be something like we're starting here where it's gonna be a different topic per episode and it just follows the same storytelling structure. Yeah, so let's take the Lighthouse Mission as an example kind of as we're walking through this conversation. So we created five individual episodes. How long were each of those episodes? They were each about seven to 10 minutes long. So really not a huge so, commitment. Yeah, fairly short. Um, but within those, we had testimonials. We had some narrative pieces in there. We had a lot of B-roll sequences that really helped to, to visually showcase the story. Um, and then in each of those episodes, we kind of broke, the, broke the overall story of the mission's work up into smaller pieces. Can you give us a, just a quick glimpse of sort of what those pieces were? Yeah, yeah. totally. It, their, their goal with that piece was really to showcase that homelessness is a very complex issue with a very complex solution, if any solution really. Um, so they wanted to start with just identifying what is homelessness, what are people experiencing, how do people fall into homelessness? And then going through the lens of human interest pieces, people who work with the homeless population here in Bellingham, um, how does the Lighthouse Mission address the issue of homelessness and how do they try to help people get back on their feet? So each episode was kind of a little glimpse of a different part of their process. Um, but again, told through the lens of it was very compelling characters that we met in that piece. It didn't feel like a super salesy, promotional, rah-rah, rah, lighthouse thing, mission. Yeah. yeah, it just, it felt like a very good human interest series. Yeah, yeah and then it, throughout that process, they, they released these. If we can talk about the distribution of this, I think they released them on weekly intervals every Friday. They had... Uh, premiered event set up online so you could tune in to watch it at that point and then you could always watch previous episodes you know leading into that um, and it seems like that worked really well yeah absolutely they released every Friday like you said um, that for their audience it starts to set up a pattern of expectation people are really good our brains are really good at identifying patterns so when we start to realize ooh, the next episode is dropping on Friday even subconsciously we start to look forward to that um, so that was that helped them out for sure with uh, their distribution of that piece. We also provided little 15 to 30 second promotional snippets, just a single sound bite from someone in that episode to kind of tease what's the next episode going to be about. And I think they released those on Monday or Tuesday each week to kind of lead into so the episode the, launch. The conversation, keeping people interested and then leading them to that episode on, on Friday. Yeah, absolutely. And then within each episode, we've also paved a little bit of a unresolved tension in, in each of those to make you want to, to watch what's going to happen next yes. for that increased re resolution. Yes, you always want to leave your audience with episodic content. You want to leave your audience wanting more. Which is what's behind those Netflix binges, oh right? Gosh, yeah, all of the episodic content. Way too much of in the past couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So results, results of episodic content and some of the things that we've seen. Lighthouse Mission did really well with promoting their series and getting getting viewers and, and an attention to that series, right? Absolutely, from a brand awareness and just exposure component like side of things, they got over 100,000 views between Facebook and YouTube distribution. So it was really, really successful for them. Yeah, and I think they also set up some watch parties so that you could tune in to the premieres, watch it together with a group of people. Absolutely. And they made it more of a fun experience to walk through this, this five-part series. And there's this building anticipation as the series went. And now you can go back and you can watch them all 
together. Yep, they did a great job with their rollout plan. And I really think anyone who's gonna do episodic content, that's a great model to start with. Yeah, great. So what are, are there other benefits of, of thinking about episodic content that a business or an organization might wanna get behind and, and think about for their brand? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said before, episodic content, it becomes a pattern that your audience really loves to engage with. And so people keep coming back and wanting more, uh, provided that it's very interesting in human interest. Um, no one is going to want to watch a five part sales pitch. You want to make sure that your content is really engaging and it's something that people are going to want to keep coming back to. Yeah. And I think with the episodic content, there's also a lot of different flavors of episodic content that you can have too, right? I think we've seen that some businesses can, can create a lot of um, episodic thought leadership videos where you can talk about certain things, similar to what we're doing right now, just kind of helping people understand what this is that you, you know someone could be interested in. So that's another way to think about it. It doesn't have to be this full narrative um, exploration of a topic, um, but there's a lot of ways that you can use interesting content like that to to create a compelling series that people want to come back to and you can be seen as this trusted source of information. Absolutely, yeah. Or even just like good heartfelt stories. If it's not gonna be a resource or something that you're teaching your audience, it could just be something that's in line with your company's values and you just wanna share. Yeah. Awesome. Any other insights from Lighthouse Mission or other projects that we've worked on in the past that for episodic content that you wanna share? Yeah, I think it's really important to keep in mind if someone's considering starting episodic content, it does take a lot of planning, uh, perhaps even more so than just your average video, because you really always want to be thinking, if it is going to be a limited series, you want to know that story arc, what is that beginning, middle, and that end, what do you want people to walk away with at the end of that series? If it is going to be more informational, relational, episode to episode, uh, you do want to be at least five episodes ahead at all times, just so you always know what you're shooting next and you're always able to kind of tease that next episode for your audience. Yeah, that's great insight. Well, Emily, thank you again for, for joining us here in studio today. It's been great to have you here and to Thanks talk episodic me. content. It's been fun. Yeah. So if your organization is interested in creating episodic content, we'd love to be a part of that process. Don't hesitate to reach out. In the meantime, thanks for joining us on this episode of The Creative Brief. Next time, I'll be on set with Matt Lisinski and we'll be talking about inbound marketing and how video can support your efforts. See you then.